well how do you create documents there are only two types either create a new one or create from existing open a document make few changes and save as but there is a better way of doing it why don't you save it as a template so that next time you can create similar document from new personal templates and then whatever document you want in fact if there are document templates which are useful for everyone it can deploy it for all employees show them this link at the bottom the keyword is reuse any effort which you have put in once should not be put in again that's called reuse for example i have this paragraph which i need very often i select it once and then add it as a quick part next time i go to the same place and choose it directly this will work across documents not just parts of text but common tables cover pages header footers can also be stored like this so now when you create a new document you have three choices a blank one or from a template or create a blank one and build it or assemble it using building blocks you must have realized that we spend lot of time on formatting and less time on content why does that happen because you are doing the work which word is better at doing <laughs> here is an example this is the base content now i inform word this is the main topic there are two sub topics and there are multiple sub sub topics these are called styles nine such levels of styles are available first thing is you can quickly navigate to any part of document with just one click another benefit is you can use simple drag drop to reorder topics and the entire document actually heading numbering is just few clicks now table of contents can be added instantly and finally you can convert it to powerpoint in just one click files which you store there are unsafe in case the disk fails if you send them as cc you have no control over them and those files are stuck on the pc or laptop where you created it what we need is a single predictable place where one and only copy of the document will always be stored and all the documents created by one person which is you and that place is called one drive for business it's a part of office 365 and it gives you 1 terabyte of space now documents can be shared with other people without sending cc's and attachments you can share them directly from word excel or powerpoint just specify the email ids decide what that person can do and share it when the work is done you can remove the rights from that person documents stored on one drive can be edited using any browser in case you just want to do quick changes or put few comments now this is great this is called cutting edge two or more people can simultaneously edit the document together here you can see that changes made by one person are seen live by the other person now you can create better quality documents with inputs from multiple people much faster than before you know how we do versioning <laughs> documents stored on one drive are automatically versioned any change automatically stores the previous copy from this menu you can compare two versions at a time this is the original document this is the revised one or the previous version this is the merged document and this is just a list of changes made isn't that brilliant i am editing a document i want inputs from someone about that document right now no time for sending emails and attachments so what do i do just go to word share present online and use skype for business and add that person and finish it off in short you focus on content let word manage the formatting 
And as I said, all the articles with detailed step-by-step -step procedure and sample files are available at the link shown here.